Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Here I am playing on my laptop, so you may notice things are a little bit different graphically, but what we're taking a look at is how does Stormworks run on a low-end computer. I'm going to show you the specs in a second, but I will say, if you have a computer that is on the lower end of the specifications, you may have a lot of problems playing Stormworks, especially when it comes to larger creations. I'm going to take a look at how you can optimize some of your settings to end up with the best gaming experience and show you what that looks like. So let's get going. Here are the specifications to my little gaming laptop here. This is the laptop I take on business trips, on vacations, on stuff like that. It is a couple years old now, I think six or seven years old now. Um, at the time it was pretty good, I used it to play PUBG and this type of stuff. And of course throughout the years, as games get a little bit better, this gets a little bit weaker for sure. But I did play everything on this computer from Grand Theft Auto 5 up until the new Modern Warfare Warzone online with my friends. So regardless, it is an okay computer, but it has an older 7th generation Core i5. As you can see, it has a GTX 1050 Ti, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I upgraded that myself. So with those specifications, it's pretty sluggish in terms of gaming. It's okay in terms of, you know, browsing the internet and watching Netflix and even editing photos and stuff. But yeah, for gaming, it does tend to have a bit of problems sometimes. 34% rated. Uh, I definitely think that at the time this was an okay graphics card, but it was never really top tier. So it was like mid higher end gaming laptop. I think around $1,000 when I bought it in 2017 or 2018. Here we are in the game. As you can see, I have a frame rate counter in the corner. It's not the Steam one. For some reason, the Steam one did not want to activate. And whether that is because of the version of my game or the version of Steam or my computer or hardware, we don't really know. So anyways, here we are in the workshop. Now it is seeming to get a nice steady 60 frames per second. Of course, if you load something up, you could see here it drops down and kind of picks back up. So fun fact, I actually used my laptop here to build this truck while I was working on site and to build the other stockyard as well. So for creations like this, having a low end computer is just fine. I mean, you can do anything you have to be doing and you can do it relatively smoothly for so building stuff like this i would say more or less is fine when you spawn it into the game you can test it up so it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't really play you can even get you know your displays everything so you're fully able to play at least as far as the diagnosis and testing of creations which is sort of what i i used this laptop for when it comes to Stormworks. So it does seem to handle this type of stuff fairly well. What it does not tend to handle well is larger creations, of course, such as the RSV of Allah here. So actually, funny enough, I did actually export this ship and upload it to Steam while I was on a coal mine on site. So I did use the laptop for this and it is okay. Like, I actually fixed some things. I found some last-minute glitches and stuff with the microcontrollers, so I did fix it. It is playable and workable, um, but definitely not 100%. And, of course, if we spawn it into the game, you'll see how it works. Now, one thing that I always kind of think is, if you have a computer like this, I mean, if you don't have a newer computer or you have something that's a little bit older, slower, you're probably used to playing at a little bit of a lag so i think that we who are a little spoiled with having like v amazing frame rate and stuff tend to forget how it was like when this was as good as it got like when i was a kid i used to have a computer that wasn't very good and i still played all kinds of things so you get something to like this and you could actually you know still play relatively now, the more lights you turn on, the slower things get, of course. So we went from 45 to 30 frames just by turning on all these lights. And same thing with the monitors. Picture in picture is especially bad for that as well. But more or less, 
I would say if your interest is playing the game, you could definitely play the game. Um, what kind of experience you get, that is, you know, you're not going to get the experience of a $2,000 computer if your computer is $600, but you can still end up playing and you could end up building. My recommendation and my suggestion would be to build medium and smaller sized things like the rib, like helicopters, like this stuff. Build a very simple boat. And of course, I, I know that I've said this before, but I try to optimize all of my ships and creations, everything, to, be, to run smoothly on a wide array of hardware. So it, it doesn't really matter if you have a, a weaker computer or a higher end computer. I tend to try to make everybody enjoy my creations equally. So I kind of make them detailed, but not over the top, not too many pivots. Like I've, I know where to optimize the creations. So hopefully mine are still good for you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But let us try here to op open up the one of the biggest and most complex ships that I've ever made. And if we spawn it in here, I'm not pausing at any point, so this is the full time it takes to load it up. But here you see that it spawns, and of course we get the like slow motion effect, even though we're at 30 frames per second, so this is a processor thing rather than a graphics card thing I learned. But regardless, um, this type of ship is quite intensive for the game. I mean, this is for sure unplayable. If you're playing with this kind of graphics, like if you're playing like this, you for sure can't play. So that is interesting to note, like, and maybe not quite a surprise. So as I was saying, we tend to, like, I tend to make more simple creations when I know I'm going to be using a lower end computer because a simple creation can easily kind of make things like this. Whereas if we spawn something like this, yeah, you're going to have a tough time going through it. Like this is going to be very bad and painful for you but you know this is like a modeling type software so it doesn't really matter if you have frame rates or not when it's here it's more so when you're playing in the game so you could even build something this size you'll just have a very hard time testing it now what are my settings now i tend to actually play with medium settings on this computer as you can see in graphics more or less everything is on medium which is interesting actually because if I put them lower, it will work better, but I try to, well, first of all, I don't play missions on this computer. I just build things and I build them when I'm unable to use my main computer. So I'm usually traveling or something. So I'll build trucks. I'll build, you know, helicopters, smaller things with these settings. So full resolution for me is a must. I don't have AA on. V-Sync is on because there's no reason to have it higher than 60. If I turn off V-Sync, you'll see that the frame rates can go up or down as needed, but 60 is fine for me. Don't need view rate or view distance. Camera shake is a personal preference. Now motion blur, I could probably do without as well, personally, but it doesn't really matter. These are personal preferences. I have everything here on medium, and I'll get to that in a second. I have everything here on medium, and I've disabled all these foams and reflections and stuff. What they do is just kind of add to the graphics it makes it more visual sure but it definitely takes your gra your kind of computer power away so if you're trying to have a more enjoyable game experience having all these on will just end up will just cause you to sort of bleed graphics unnecessarily you have all this stuff and this is fine for now but it's kind of riding on the cusp and if we hit f1 you could see even here where everything is sort of being used up. So you can go through this if you want and select and find where you're losing graphics. Uh, personally, I just tend to kind of play trial and error. So for this computer, I didn't see a need for any of these. Another tab that actually has important stuff is general. Now in the general tab, there's a few things here that are important, mainly the particle effects, and the physics detail. These two things will affect your graphics. Particle effects being on full will cause your like smokestacks and kind of air vents and things to smoke really is what it is. Whereas if you reduce it, it's the same as what I showed you in another video. Whereas if you turn off um, or turn on unlimited fuel, it'll remove your smokestack smoke, but the particle effects on reduced does that as well. So I think 
reducing the particle effects is a must if you're on a low-end computer. Now this one here, physics detail, is important because if you don't have this on high, you may get wonky things happening with pivots, with sliders, with any type of mechanic component, mechanical component. So my personal preference is be on high if at all possible and then go to medium and low, test it all out. Maybe try it on auto and see, but if you're getting weird things happening with your creations, you'll for sure want to try it on high. I had people complaining that my ships didn't work, the crane was not working, whatever. Put on high, it worked. So this is super important. I'd say this is, should be your priority. This is very good to just put it on reduced if you're on a lower end computer or a potato computer. Um, over here, everything on medium seems to work okay. Like this is still playable if it's a medium or small sized creation of course when you see the mv cochran it does not work but what actually is quite interesting is if i go ahead and put everything disable everything what's possible put everything on the lowest imaginable settings make it truly look terrible disable everything even putting the ah i'll leave physics physics is the only thing i'll leave on because that actually can mess up your creation Everything else is reduced, everything else is either disabled or low. Now you can say, oh, of course, like, I'm not watching this video to just show you put everything on low. But the reason I'm doing that is to give you a comparison. First of all, this is much smoother, so you are able to build quite easily. And honestly, personal preference, building like this may even be the way to go. Because when you turn on those shadows, it really does make things like difficult to see like here especially so i might actually start building my creations with shadows disabled it looks more like a modeling software like an engineering software that i'm used to like this because of course you wouldn't have shadows there's no need for shadows in the building mode anyway that point aside this ship is fine but let's go back and try the mv cochran if we have everything on low settings can you build a ship this size the answer, well, obviously, when you're with all these tiny nodes, it's going to be slow. But in this part, absolutely, you can build it here, no problem. And check this out. If you spawn this huge, heavy creation in on even a lower end computer, I'm going to be running next to it. It does give you like a second of that like drop. And... It tends to be a little bit smoother, but it still is creating that slow motion running effect. Now check this out. Turn this to low. Look at that. Our slow motion effect is pretty much gone. So now we can expect some things like that crane may not work properly. We may expect some of our pivots and things to not function. But at least you can sit here. You can turn on the ship. You can open the walls, turn on the displays, even turn on some lights, and still play at 60 frames per second. So if your goal is to play with a vehicle that is more complex in nature or heavy, you can always drop your graphics. Now, we, what I showed you is by putting this on low, you can actually play. So can we bring our settings back up to medium and still end up with a game, game like a decent gaming experience? So I'm just going to put everything on medium real quick here. I'm going to leave this stuff disabled, which is fine. Hit play. No. So it drops down to like 30, kind of fluctuates. It is a little laggy, but it is playable. I guess so the answer is yes, not no. But I am getting a little bit of that slow motion effect. I mean, if your game is giving you the slow motion effect, in my opinion, that's not playable. So you probably could play around with some type of low settings, low to medium, if your intent is really to play with massive creations like this. But note that lights are going to slow you down. You're better off with no lights. Displays are going to slow you down. Pretty much everything is going to slow you down if, you, if your intention is to play with a large creation like this. So I'd really advise you to sort of think about what sort of... Uh, gameplay you're looking for if you have a lower end computer is it to play the missions is it to build what kind of graphics do you need what kind of graphics would you want to have and sort of go from there but of course like we have it now with some of these effects on 
and our low settings, we're getting that like 30, 35 frame rates, but we're not getting the slow motion effect. So at least there's that. Now we're going to smack into that bridge, I think. But you see the smokestack is not producing any smoke, so there's definitely some things that are sort of, uh, that you're able to limit to have a game that's enjoyable and playable even with larger creations. So, that is sort of what I had in mind for you. Thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more content, for more creations. I got the build challenges going on on my Discord server. I got all sorts of things coming your way. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And as always, happy Stormworksing everyone.